Germany waited for seven nail-biting hours after the machine that's about the size of a fridge separated from the space probe Rosetta and made its way down to the comet. Now, it's apparently latched on and stable despite the fact that it's landed on a very steep slope. Claire Williams has more. A cosmic first and the photos to show it. These are the images of the comet Philae landed on, taken as the robot descended. They're the very first photos of the Churu comet Philae sent back, captured from three kilometers away. Scientists at the European Space Agency were in seventh heaven when, at 5.04 p.m. Central European time, Philae touched down. When I left the control room, uh, everybody was moved, was excited. Uh, most of the people were, were crying. Um, people are more, uh, yeah, they, they have difficulties to, um, to believe that it happened. Yeah? The Rosetta space probe took this photo of Philae on Wednesday morning just after it set off towards the comet. It took Philae seven hours to travel the 20 kilometer journey. Philae is so far into outer space, any news it sends back takes 28 minutes to arrive on Earth. At 6 p.m. there was bad news. The harpoons that were supposed to fix the craft to the comet had not worked properly. This computerized image shows what should have happened. Not so good news is uh, that the anchoring harpoons apparently did not fire. So the lander is not anchored to the surface. And now we started uh, to think about what could be the situation. Did we just land in a soft sandbox and everything is fine, although we are not anchored and the ADS did not fire? Uh, or is there something else happening? 